Samson, the rise and the fall of Samson. Hallelujah. Amen. In life, we have season when God will come to visit you. The season will come when God will come to visit your family. In life, there are seasons that come when that season comes. Everything will begin to pick. Up. If Joseph come back with me, and if God will begin to raise you up, I come back with me. Hallelujah. Amen. He may raise you up speedily. I come with you. He may raise you up very fast. I come with you. He may go to a place where he depends on himself. If you suffer in the fever party, Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting somebody? Shemu de ufo. Are you getting somebody? Amen. There are seasons. Why do we need that? That takes place. Ishi shi samuka tukabu. In the lives of the believers. Mumu mi wa muntu wa sichete. Hallelujah. Amen. So when God comes to visit you. Yes, angai samkuta andalila. Pay attention to that season. Muli ngire mwa posa shamano kuri yo nishita. When God comes to visit you. Yes, angai samkuta andalila. 
Pay attention to the season. Many people. God has visited them. Hallelujah. Amen. But their season. In their season. They mess things up. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Each and every person sitting here. Today, has a, a, set, a day God set. There's a day the Lord has set for you. And on that day, God will come for you. When He comes for you, He will come to lift you up. He will come to bless you. He will come to open doors for you. He will come to visit you. You come to comfort you. Hallelujah. Amen. But now, no, be careful. Because at the same time, the devil also may come to you. You come to you. In purpose to destroy. But God is doing it. You come to you. In order to destroy. What God is doing for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Judges 16 verse 1 to 6. Says, now Samson went to Gaza. Number Samson I to Gaza. And he saw a alot there. A prostitute. And they went into her. When the Gazite were told Samson has come here. They surrounded the place. And lay in wait for him all night. At the gate of the city. They were quiet all night. Saying, in the morning, when it is daylight, we will kill him. Today And a Samson lay low till midnight. Then he arose at midnight. Took all of the doors of the gate of the city. He took all. I said. I send a mm -hmm. and, they, and they and they took get and they took get post. Na na filo fa ba bika uma uma gates mumba. Put them up. I saw film. Bars and all. I throw now that stones. Put them on his shoulder. I feel like a And they carry them. I send to the top of the hill. But first, 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 he won. Afterward, what happened? Hallelujah. He loved a woman, a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the Lord of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Hallelujah. Amen. In this heart, he him, that he betrayed him, he sent him to us. And he found out where his great, and where his great strength lies. Hallelujah. We may, we may, we may, we may, may fall to check to find out the strength of Samson. And by what means we may overpower him. Hallelujah. And then we may bind him to afflict him. And every one of us will give you 1100 pieces of silver. So the liar said to Samson, Please tell me. Where, uh, tell me where your, your great friend lies. Where 
and a with what you may be bound to afflict you and as Samson said to her if you bind me with seven fresh uh, uh, bow strings and not yet dried then I shall become weak and be like any other man so this one is like him hallelujah hallelujah alright let us now read the first, first Corinthians uh, uh, 6 verse 18 First Corinthians uh, 6 verse 18. Um, the Bible says, Okay. First Corinthians 6, uh, 6. First Corinthians 6 verse 18 says, Every sexual immorality, everything that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Clap your hand for the word of God. Clap your hand for the word of God. Hallelujah. You may take your seat now. May God bless you. Listen to this people God. I know God. This is working something behind the curtain. And I know God is about to visit somebody. And I know God is visiting already some people. I know God is already shifting and moving to a season of your life. It's a season of your visitation. Hallelujah. Samson, Samson was visited by God. Hallelujah. And Samson, Samson was having the anointing. And he said that anointing will come upon Samson. Because God gave this anointing to Samson for him to deliver the Israelites. He was born with it. He was growing up with it. Before God had visited this family, God chose somebody in this family for, for them to be the deliverer of, of, of the Israelites. When the anointing of the Spirit of God comes upon him, the Bible says he will kill even a thousand people. It will beat anybody. Because this was the power God has given Samson. Nobody was able to catch Samson. Nobody was able to fight Samson. Because the anointing of God was powerful in his life. Nobody. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he used a jawbone job of a donkey to kill a thousand people. They are enemies. He killed thousand people with a job on. He just collected down. He collected the body. Nobody could touch Samson. Because the Spirit of God was working so mighty in his life. Hallelujah. The power, the anointing was so, so available in the life of Samson. Hallelujah. But listen, the same man he was used by God when he went to this Gaza and the Bible says he saw a prostitute hallelujah and she erased to go and sleep with this person. And he had sex with the person. Hallelujah. Amen. And the same man, after having a sexual immorality, after doing this act, adultery, still the power of God was still moving. Ah. Hallelujah. And the power of God was still moving. Despite what he did, but the spirit of God, the power, despite the power being corrupted, but he's still working. The Bible says, I 
Right after sleeping the person, after committing in adultery, sexual immorality, the Bible says he woke up at midnight. He went to the gate of the city. And the power was in him already. He had put the gates. That gate is not the east gate of the east gate of the like a smoke gate. No. The gate of the city. The gate of the city. Break so strong. Samson came. Samson and he aborted the gate. He carried to the shadow. He went away. Hallelujah. Right after sleeping with the prostitute. Are you getting me somewhere? After sleeping with the prostitute. Pastor Moses. The power of God is still there. And the Bible says. He continues his things. Now, no, instead of focusing on what God wants, he began to pay more attention to immorality. He saw another woman again. Delilah. Delilah. This one. Who you? She. He went crazy. I believe in him. Samson. Samson. The Bible says he was married. He was married. He had three, 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 three wives. The first one he married. And the second one is prostitute. He slept with. He was a married man already. He was a married man. He married a Philistine. Woman. Hallelujah. Amen. And now he went to sleep again with the prostitute. Now he went to sleep again with the prostitute. Now he saw again the lion. 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 He is manifesting the power of God is manifesting in his life but he's still living in the morning at that time hallelujah Amen. and he continued with his work he continued with it but he read the lila now it was the end of the career of the God had a lot of good plans for Samson but because of his behavior Samson did not have character. Hallelujah. Amen. He went back to the light. I went to the light. And he began to hear until the light discovered the secret. And the light is shining on Samson. And the Bible says, "Yes, woman." Who you know, man? Saw Samson. I saw Samson. He is enemies. Who are you? Hallelujah. Amen. Can I talk to somebody? Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I say, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm a God. He's doing much work in your life. And you didn't see much yet. And I can tell you, you are going to see much more. You are going to see much more in your life. God is preparing you. You are going to be the one who is going to bring the deliverance in your family. God is preparing you because you are the God. Who's going to bring deliverance in your country? You are going to be like a deliverer. You are going to be the one God is about to use. You are going to be the one God is about to use. Hallelujah. You are the one God is about to use. You are the one God is about to use. Hallelujah. You are the one God has chosen. You are the one God has chosen to bring light in the world. You are the one. Many are waiting for you. Amen. Israel were in slavery. They were waiting for someone. That verse was Samson. Hallelujah. That verse was Samson. The world is waiting for you. Many are waiting for you. You are the one. You are the one. Many are waiting for you. They are waiting for you to stand up. They are waiting for you to move. Yes. 
They became slaves in Egypt. In Egypt. Amen. And they knew one day God will send us a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the time came when God was going to send a deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How do you see yourself? Because it, according to God's plan, you are the one God has chosen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to be a Moses. Moses. For you to set free. For you to bring change. In your generation. To bring change in your family. People are still practicing which waters. People are not saved. People are not free. They are still living. No one is being honored in marriage. Which is not no more. Which is not Hallelujah. Nobody, nobody is being blessed in marriage. Look at yourself. We want a house. Who want a house? Nobody. Look at yourself. Who is not even loving a girl? Nobody. Who is not even loving a girl? Look at yourself. Who is not even loving a girl? 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 People not saved. But even though they will go to church, they will not be saved. What are they doing in the church? Tomorrow they are in the gangazal. They are not saved. They are still worshiping idols. You are the one who God is waiting for. Because when you begin to speak, our heart is touched. They are waiting for somebody who can pay them in their language. Remember, stop what you are doing. They are excited to repent and come out. So God is watching you. God is looking at you as a mighty man to save your inner poverty. Hallelujah. God release that anointing on you. Let God release that anointing on you in the name of Jesus. Some families, some provinces, some people will never see the light of God until you stand up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Until you stand up. Samson. Samson. If there were no, there was no Samson. That a quiet Samson. Israel were going to continue his level. Abena, Abena, Israel, Gabal, Etoria, Tokia. Suppose Samson to stand up. Hallelujah. Amen. But something happened. Despite the anointing of God. When Samson came to realize, the power of God began to work in me. Samson knew. The Samson I said, with this thing, I'm I'm it's going. already in me. I can go and do my things. things. It is well. Nothing will stop me to do what I do. Because it's available. Hallelujah. Amen. It's available in me. Now the proudness that you take a place in him. Hallelujah. And the Samson, Samson. begin to miss me. He, 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 the character, it began to misbehave. And the Bible says, the mission God gave him, he is that deviating what God gave him. And the Bible says, he spoke to him. He said, 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 he which was already against the law. But which are which are not bad just here. Which are not bad just here. When you marry a Philistine, I know you are Philistine. Hallelujah. Amen. It was it was already wrong. Which are not bad just here. A wrong move. Which are not bad just here. Hallelujah. Amen. It's wrong. Which are not bad just here. 
But since he married already, it is well. But he didn't finish there. In a marriage with his wife, but he saw again a post. And the Bible says he went into her heart. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of God is still with him. Many Christians, many people, many servants of God are thinking. Yeah, I do this already. I know how to do it. <coughs> today, God can be using you. Or oh, today, you may be just a simple Christian. But God, God is blessing you. you. He's He's opening doors for you. Yeah. Your life was in poverty. You are raising up now. You are not touching the thousands. Now you are touching thousands. Business is improving now. Hallelujah. And then you see, you find yourself now. You see behaving well because now your life is going up. Because God has released grace in your life. Now because things are moving well, you know, I know how to do it. And you are not busy. You start to misbehaving. Because you are thinking that you are not doing it. Because you are not busy. 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 You did not have before. The devil am not the one. Something you didn't have before. Get the call of the grace of God. The rain come with shakwale. Doors begin to open for you. You see your life begin to change. God begin to raise you up. God begin to do something. Now you see. That spirit has entered. It's happened to many men of God. It's happened to many men of God. To many women of God. To many Christians. Hallelujah. And today they involve themselves into immorality. Sexual immoral. Sex of God. It's a strong weapon. Nobody lies to you. Nobody lies to you. Immorality is a strong weapon. If you want your life to go down, put yourself into sexual immorality. Believe me, it doesn't matter how strong you can be. It doesn't matter how powerful you are. What God uses you mightily. I know a man of God. He was so anointed. He was so anointed. Hallelujah. Once he speaks, you see the cripples are walking. Then I spoke about the death. You just hear the shout. You hear the shout. Hallelujah. 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 You know what God was, what God was doing. He began to put himself in this immorality, sexual immorality. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the life began to go. No, we are going to be some of the punch. The we are like this. They are mounting. The world begins to cry. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter how powerful you can be. It doesn't matter how beautiful you can be. If you are in the mood, you are in the mood. The devil will kill you. He 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 will kill you. Hallelujah. He will steal your crown of glory. You know when people are busy uh, having that immorality, sexual immorality, when you are busy doing that, spiritually, you don't, you don't know what happens. When you are busy doing that, spiritually, there will be demons who are released from the water. You want to see them. Hallelujah. Amen. They will be released. They will come in you. When they are entering you, you won't know. When you are in business that act, they will enter you for a purpose to kill you, to steal your crown of glory, to destroy your destiny. Hallelujah. Even if you are having things God was close to do, let's see many, many people you can have, have a serious promise of God. God, 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 has, God, has, God, God has promised you. Yes, you even yes. saw in the vision. Along the way, everything, everything went silent. Sexual immoral will open a wide gate for the enemy to steal your crown. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the reason of many Christians are suffering. Many Christians are struggling. And their suffering doesn't end. No, because they, you are trying to live a double life. At the same time, you want to experience the power of God. At the same time, you are buying in, in 
that day, you are expecting to see the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. Samson, Samson did the same thing. They continued in that line. They said to Delilah, and Delilah sold Samson. And the Bible says, the Philistines, this time around, they found an opportunity to sold. They corrected Samson before them, but after the act of immorality, with Delilah, the door was opened. They came. They know the new secret. After they removed the crown, the woman shaved the hair. The secret was exposed. And the Philistines came in. The first thing they did, they shaved his eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. They said, "See the people who live in iniquity, they shave their eyes." Now they are seeing the light of God. 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 Difficult. Even if you can tell me this is dangerous, you never accept it. Well, because in the spiritual realm, they destroy your eyes of the spirit. You never accept it. You will carry on in the same way you are going. The devil is destroying you. Why? Did they remove the eyes? Because the battle is setting up my nephew. Your eyes is like a lamp. Your eyes are the light of your life. Ah, amen. Let us shout the praise as if we were on the mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap up for the Holy Spirit. Clap up for the Holy Spirit. Clap up for the Holy Spirit. Listen. Listen. Matthew six. Matthew six. Verse twenty two. The lamp of the body is the eye. Why did they remove first Samson's eye? Because it was the lamp for him to be able to fight. I will see my enemies inside, and I will be able to see my enemies on this side. And they will remove the eye first. When you begin to live in immorality, you become blind in the spirit. You become blind in the spirit. Everything dangerous before you. You never know. You never see. 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 You You can think you are a believer, but when you are living in the morality, you are not a believer. You are an unbeliever. And the enemy will destroy your eyes. They will blind you. The truth will become false to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm teaching you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You begin to hate the truth. Why? Because your eyes are the spirit. I is that five verse twenty? Isaiah five verse twenty. The Bible says, "Oh, to those who call evil good." One say, "Oh, Hallelujah." Oh, to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter? Hallelujah! You get it? This when the eye of the spirit has blinded, the devil's captured your eyes. Everything evil, don't say evil, will become good to you. Why? Because the devil wants to destroy you. You try by all means to defend anything evil. You try by all means to defend anything evil. You may know something that is going to help you. Nakula kundele for kuwa. To show you the right way to go. You say, Ah, well. You are doing this wrong. What I'm doing is right. I am the one who is doing this wrong. I am the one who is doing this wrong. I am the one who is doing this wrong. I am the one who is doing this wrong. Let it 
God opened your eyes again. And and maybe you stole your eyes. At God of Kukutura Mamnesu. Please sexual immorality. This sin, if you will bring your life back. You will get your life back. Then, if you want it or not, you will see. Amen. 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 The brother was doing well. The brother was doing well. The brother was doing well. That brother was he acting to do very well. Business moves, everything moves. But along the way, you need to believe in this kind of life. Listen to me. You take long. I just said the rest. You begin to lose everything. You lose everything. By one. One 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 by one. One by one. Why? Because he had opened the door. Find your eyes, for demons. of the water. Chapter <laughs> See, if someone is delivered from the spirit, which means he has done a really a sacrifice. Because once, what I know, once you start that life, believe me, it's not easy for you to come out. It's not easy. Unless you really make a serious decision. If you make a serious decision of your and the true men of God, pray for you sincerely, then you can be free. It is this demon who is very, very, very strong. If you can see the men of God are colossal, they can be working in you. But you are seeing things are moving. But it's corrupted. 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 But you are living that woman. Please, if you think, please, Papa, this, if you think, you have to do quickly something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the woman's family. Anything to check blessing. If you are living the husband, the man, you must do something to the you always have problem to problem. You fight, 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 fight. You 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 fight, fight, Never been honored. You never paid a man money to the wife. You are living in fornication. Amen. And then you are exposed to any kind of spirit. Amen. 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 Someone who beat a woman and they go, they start to stay living together, they call it marriage. But it's not marriage. It's not marriage. You are living fornication. 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 And they are ministering. And they are leading the church. And my wife. My wife. You are leading the church. But you are living in fornication. Because you never honor the word of God. You never. You never honor the word. Hallelujah. You live in fornication. You can be a pastor. You can be a prophet. Prophet. But prophet is not fair. And they are not doing something good. No, but they are doing something good. 
but it's corrupted. Because I live in furniture. If you are here in a church, today, I really want to help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Samson, Samson found himself with the eye. There no eyes. He found himself no eyes. Because of immorality. Until Samson died. Do you know that Samson Samson never finishes his mission? He never. Samson failed. But God called Samson to achieve much more. God called Samson to achieve much more. But his mission was captured because of sexual immorality. Many people are cutting off the glow of God because of this country. Read in the book of Romans 3 verse 23. Romans 3 verse 23. The Bible says in the book of Romans 3 verse 23. Romans 3 verse 23. Let me read for you quickly. Romans 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and they fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you begin to live in this life, the glory becomes short. Even if your business was going well, you see a short period. Except a man promises you marriage, and you already start living that man. You open it, open your legs. All that men coming to you. Believe me. There is, there is, there is. There is one percent, one percent chance to be married to that man. One percent chance, one percent chance. Ninety-nine percent risk. Ninety-nine percent risk. Because you use you. They already discovered what you wanted to discover. Why should I go marry this woman? You see, you are ending a lot of disappointments. The young sisters. These men will use you tomorrow. This one will use you. This is the impact of sexual immorality. In use you will impregnate you and you carry birth today. And then you give birth and then it costs the next one. You impregnate again that's why. They carry baby, it costs the next one. And then you stay there. Tomorrow another will come and impregnate you, another baby comes. One, two, three. Father, 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 children, children, children. Different father, different father, different father, different father, different father, different father. Why? Because you are dishonoring God. What God called you to do is much more than you can ever think. You are cutting the show of the glow of God's soul. <laughs> the grace of God is working in your life. God has promised you a lot of things. God wants to be the one who is going to be a blessing in your life. I the you go there, you enjoy it. You can sit. You, 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 won't think, you, you won't think that something bad happened to you. You won't think. Because after, after doing this act, you will see peacefully, life will go well. You will laugh as usual, it's like nothing happening, but I can tell you, in the spiritual heart, a lot of things have been stolen from you. As time goes on, you begin to realize your life is not going anywhere. You won't even know. What happened in my life? You will realize later. Because anything you saw today is a sin. The devil keep it. For a period. It can be one month, two months, three months, six months. You begin to see the effect of the immorality. You know some people they found themselves with HIV. They don't say HIV. You think I have to clear for HIV. HIV, this HIV. I think it's that brother. 
I explained that brother is suspect that brother. Okay, tell you. He's not going to go to the world. The devil can plant a disease in your body when you go to the world. You can plant a disease in your body. Some people, they suffer certain diseases. They are suffering from where? Where is the devil? Yes, you are suffering from where? Where is the devil? 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Cancer. Cancer. Sugar. Sugar. All these diseases. All these diseases. sickness. Hallelujah. And some women they will be married tomorrow. And you will find that they can't conceive. No child. They have to conceive the problem. They have to destroy their womb. They have to be committed. 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 Hallelujah. I pray for God to deliver me. I say God may deliver in the name of Jesus. I say God may deliver in the name of Jesus. It's playing. It's playing very, very strong. Oh, in the lives of the children of the living God. Come out! You fool me. Let us read this Bible verse. Proverbs. I'm a pin. Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8. Verse 18. Verse 18. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and the arrogance, and the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. You see this? The fear of. If somebody fearing God, and you are seeing something evil, oh, you will hate it. You will hate it with passion. You cannot allow to accept anything evil. It's happening around the way you are. And then you are celebrating it. Then you don't have the fear of God. And the person who fear of God, when you see. It's entering your house. You hate it with passion. You hate it. The fear of God. You hate it. When the evil is knocking at the door of your house, you hate it. The things you don't want to see. You begin to say, your husband is drinking and getting drunk. Your wife. They may say, at least I'm living this kind of marriage. You hate it. You hate it. Because this is the sun to show. Panti church lang lo kuwe mati. Person have the fear of God. Kuwe mati yumunta pataga china kapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me read again for you. Before we close, today is a teaching for you. Lo kuwe mati. Proverbs eighteen verse eleven. The Bible says there is a generation that curses its father. And does not bless its mother. Twelve. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes. Yet, yet, it's not washed from its filthiness. You see this? The generation we are. When a father stood up, and he built something evil, and the children stood up to defend it. You see this? When a father stood up, and he built something evil, and the children to defend it. This is a generation. No, he's wrong. No, he's wrong. No, he's wrong. No, he's wrong. We are right. Instead of purifying themselves from their mistakes, but they are standing to the truth. To find the truth. To share evil. This is a and this is what killed Samson. If you say pain a Samson, Hallelujah. Amen. This is what killed Samson. If you say pain Samson, instead of he connived the mistake, he continued to wait. But I want him. He continued to wait. Until he died. Samson died prematurely. Samson died from a tumor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. I say may God bless you. Amen. I'm going to read again the book of Proverbs 22 verse 8. Proverbs 22 verse 8. Listen to this one. Proverbs 22 verse 8. Proverbs 22 verse 8. 22 verse 8. He who sows iniquity. Uyo uyo agdara ulubem. Will reap sorrow. Aka 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 funyamu. And the root of his anger will fail. Hallelujah. If you are reaping years, you are sowing iniquity. Because if 
deceive. You will never be able to deceive. Do not iniquity. My shame is not deceive. Iniquity is when you know something is evil. But you go. You go for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know, when you know that this is evil, you will not touch it. Amen. 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 God will forgive you, but you will face the consequences. The Bible says, "Evil saw in saw iniquity." Evil saw iniquity. 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 Evil Hallelujah. You know where it is bad to steal. You go and steal. Father, forgive me. I restore him. My son, I forgive you. I forgive you. But wait for the consequences. For the consequences. You pay. Forgiveness. You receive. But consequences. You pay. But consequences. You pay. But consequences. You pay. But consequences. This is the Bible. It's not my way. Hallelujah. Iniquity is dangerous. You know. I know the truth. I know the word of God. Hallelujah. There is an opportunity for me to commit adultery. And I go for it quickly. And I listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are asking for it. We are asking. Where are you going to be?
This brother is so beautiful. I love you. Hallelujah. You will keep loving everyone. Because everyone is beautiful. When you look here, you see God is beautiful. You look at the brother is beautiful. And he is handsome. Look at you, you love everybody. Come on, you kill yourself. Make yeah. 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 yourself to, to sell. No, 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 Don't mess what God has for you. Anyone who maintains the, the, the fear of God, God always honors them. Anyone who maintains the fear of God, God always bless them. Clap your hands for them. Hallelujah. And I know God is taking many people to this place somewhere.